hello guys and welcome back to the channel if today is your first time visiting this channel kindly do well to hit on the subscription button for me today we are going straight to kenya so yes a controversial financial bill with huge taxation that caused a nationwide demonstration in kenya just a few days ago you see what was supposed to be a peaceful demonstration had metamorphosed into a violent one especially after the kenyan citizens were able to break into the legislative house of the kenya parliament now, violence indeed is the language of the head. In today's content, I'm going to show you guys some crazy images that were captured during this riot. And also, you see, a Kenyan citizen has been training for the fact that he was able to smoke a tear gas that was thrown at him. God have mercy upon us. You see, this guy was able to exhibit a very important attribute, which is caring. He was able to also hand over this tear gas to a fellow colleague of his to also smoke. Now, the science around smoking tear gas is something that I don't really understand. But guys, let's watch this video. As you can see from the first video, it looks like he was actually leading, I mean, that particular group of protesters. And from the second video, you could see these two guys seriously smoking the tear gas. Now, when you witness the extent to which these protesters went with, I mean, their demonstration, you could see that they were indeed in for an amendment of whatever bill they wanted to enact into the country. Now, while some demonstrators were smoking tear gas, Others were also kicking grenades that were thrown at them, whilst others also turned the whole demonstration into a table tennis fiasco where they were batting, I mean, grenades and, I mean, tear gas that were thrown at them. TV content creators decided to capture these sceneries and, you know, there was one particular guy who actually captured a scene during this particular riot. But what made his video trend was the fact that he was, you know, basically oblivious or nonchalant to the dangers he could have actually sustained even though he was you know capturing the sceneries to him it's like bro i don't really care whether they are going to throw a bomb at me or whatever let me just you know capture this particular view for I mean, my uh, followers <laughs> So just when we thought we had seen it all, we then saw even pressed giving I mean free water to I mean these demonstrators to just boost their energy for the demonstration. Now looking at how this demonstration had exacerbated, indeed President Ruto had to make some quick decisions. So the following day, he actually resigned his decision. And yes, once again, the people of Kenya were very excited that this dubious and myopic financial bill was not enacted. So yes, there is a big win for the Kenyan citizen over there. And now some are even calling for the resignation of even the president. You see, as a Ghanaian citizen, the big question here is should leaders always sit down and wait for a citizen to react violently before they will take important steps? Because currently, when you look at the inflation and even the taxation rates in Ghana here, they even surpasses that of Kenyan citizens. However, the Ghanaian citizen has been the most tolerant. Is there going to be a call for action or a wait for reckoning? You decide. 